Hello to everyone. Um, I'm happy to see all of you in Armenia. My name is Lilith and I'm uh, 20. I was born in Yerevan, but uh, me and my family moved to Russia when I was two years old. There I spent 15 uh, years and I came here three years ago to enter university and I did it. Now I'm the fourth grade student of uh, Yerevan State Academy of Fine Arts Design Faculty. I'm an artist and I'm fond of uh, doing paintings, most of all, uh, my theme are people and their feelings. Uh, and now I'm helping with the exhibition part of the seminar. So, during first year here, I understood that Armenia is not even like what I've expected. Before moving here, Armenia was like a small, wonderful and peaceful part of the world for me. But it's not. I was confused by a lot of things. It was strange for me to see these limited relationships between people, this attitude to women, non-active children, people who use internet only for Facebook, people without any hobbies, television which promotes serials, and serials where common people are just trying to make their life harder than it is, every day, for what? Of course, there are a lot of countries with different problems. One of them is Armenia. Not best economic situation, not uh, best education, uh, corruption. You are not listening these words for the first time. But uh, there are a lot of special things here. People uh, like uh, helping you in difficulties, and it doesn't matter ask you for, uh, for this them or not. We have very closed, closed relationships of, of all members of our family. We usually know our cousins and uncles and other relatives with all details of their lives. And it doesn't matter how far they are living, there will be over 45 members of closed family on your birthday party. I have met a lot of great people here and um, friends who mean a lot for me now. And I can't imagine life without them. Also wonderful nature and city with uncountable historical places and great architecture. So special prawns and special cones. Special problems need special solutions. When I heard about Youth in Charge for the first time, I was just happy. Why? Because I saw people who have great ideals and, uh, ideas and do all their work with great pleasure, sincere and with all heart. This is not only seminar, it's a great meeting of active and talented people for the first place. And sometimes it's uh, something very special always happens on these meetings. It's like people start lighting, always full of energy, full of positive, full of passion, because they're pooped by one idea and they're infecting all people around with this. I was included in the team right by this way. I just can't stay indifferent for this project because this is exactly what a lot of Armenian people need. They just need some support. All of you know what inspiration is. The most important is that it's not just a word, it's a process. And I was inspired by many things when I started my creative work. We all are inspired by movies, by music, by uh, our idols, maybe football team. But there is nothing more exciting than a huge group of creative people. Sometimes other people are just afraid to say what they're thinking about, because it can be very different from what community thinks. That's the reason of many problems in Armenia. People are just afraid to make some new steps. And that's why this community has a lot of old-fashioned features which are limiting development. Because few people here have enough will to go against society. And it makes uh, take a long period of time to make changes here. And that's why this event is so new here and so important to bring something very unusual to people's life. I'm sure many of us and a lot of Armenian people will start thinking different asking a lot of new questions like what is interesting in my life, what I really want to do, and maybe it's time to start something totally new. And this is the inspiration, and that's why a lot of people will be happy to see all of you here as I am. <laughs> that's all.